biggest thing to remember about these train units, a lot of the times in the history that we've had with these two-stage 18i outdoor units, it's going to be this suction pressure transducer. A suction pressure transducer is bolted to your suction line on the other side of the coil by the compressor. It's going to read your suction pressure. It's going to translate that to a coil temperature. You've got your temperature sensor for your suction line right here reading your suction line temperature and what that's going to do is it's going to translate what the superheat is on this unit in heat mode it's going to try to maintain that you see your light flashes twice it lets you know it's in second stage double check your voltage up here make sure your rectifier is switched and it's energized in second stage but it's going to try to regulate that superheat on this system in heat mode through this EEV and step that motor back and forth that screw valve adjust the refrigerant flow as needed the problem that we've ran into in a lot of these systems not so much now because this would read out of range and it would read a wacky pressure of 250 psi or 20 psi obviously the paperwork the book down there gives you the chart shows you how to test this You're basically going to check your dc voltage between your black and your white wire and then that book's going to give you a chart, that DC voltage. You can check the chart, it will give you a pressure. The easiest way to check it is check there. Be hooked up to your suction pressure, true suction pressure. The transducer is connected to this pipe on the other side. And all you have to do is just turn the system off, let it sit for a minute, or you can run it whichever way you want. You're going to read your suction pressure, 91.2 PSI, I'm running in heat mode right now. Verify that you're in second stage. Then you're going to go to your chart, check your DC voltage across this with your little needle probes. Take that DC voltage reading, use the chart, and it should match up to 91 psi. If it doesn't, then you got a problem with your transducer. You want to verify your EEV board as well, make sure it's giving you the proper DC voltage. You see the 3.9 or 4.9. I think it's 4.9 on the indoor units, 3.9 out here. I'm not sure. I'm going to check it right now. But uh, you can go to your red wire here in a ground, check your DC voltage as a ground terminal. A common terminal, these little dots on this board give you these places where you can put your test pins right over here, these little dots, test points. Verify your DC voltage on this thing and uh, double check that. Obviously, make sure you're in second stage. Check your stepper motor, you ohm that out. Check your sensors. If you got a sensor reading out of range, it'll do the same thing. So it's just a little troubleshooting tip on these. You see this ground terminal they put on here where all your commons are connected. Uh, the first couple of years these units were coming out, they didn't have that. And every time we had a problem with the transducer, they were saying, well, we need to take unused thermostat, or not unused thermostat wires. We need to run a ground wire and then wire not all our commons to that ground wire to the chassis. The solution on the newer models since then has been to add this little tip here for the common terminal. Basically it's screwed to the chassis so it's grounded and then they plug all their common wires there and that allegedly fixed the problem but every once in a while we still run into a bad transducer. Keep those on the truck. 